feel like for so long people have been pegging you as, as the next champion, the next big thing when you're in the UFC. Is there, is, is there some sort of weight lifted off your shoulders now that you're finally sitting up there with some gold in front of you? I think the weight got lifted off my shoulders once I uh, got more mature and just gained uh, uh, just a different mentality, man. I used to let that weight crush me, and now I just feel like things are okay. You know, things are okay to be me and uh, to be in this moment. It feels uh, amazing. For sure. And, I mean, you went out there, it was, it was a competitive fight, but largely you dominated on the judges' scorecard. One judge gave you all five rounds, so, I mean, did you surprise yourself a little bit out there tonight at all? Um, no, man, I, I just stuck to what I know, the basics, uh, stayed true to myself, um, didn't allow his movement to scare my movement. I was more worried about what I was going to do instead of what he was going to do, and uh, I, just, I, was, I was myself tonight, man. I was, I was trying to flow like water, and I feel like I did. Sergio, I know it's tough to kind of score your own fight while you're in there, but 4-1 to one seemed like a popular pick. Some people thought it was 5-0. How did you see it while you were in there? I wasn't really paid attention to any of that. You know, I was just focused on the objective, which was to pick them apart. I'm a little piranha out there, man. I just, I just nick away and I try to get people to get frustrated and I bring them out of their game, which I think I, I felt like I did tonight. He was very frustrated and I was able to get the better exchange, use better math than him, hit better angles, and my calculations were just on point. A lot of strikers will say, and it's kind of cliche in MMA, that you know I plan on turning this great striker into a wrestler. It seemed like tonight you turned the great wrestler into a striker in a way, and you were able to implement your own game plan the way you wanted to do it. Were you surprised that he stayed on the feet with you as long as he did? Um, no, you know I wasn't surprised. I know he likes to keep his standing. You know, he's a tough guy, and I feel like uh, he just has an ego that he had a better strike, a better striking uh, game plan than I did. Um, I mean, also I had Mark Chowinski uh, helping me with my uh, wrestling takedown defense, and um, it was just on point tonight, man. He couldn't really do nothing. He got me with a nice little slam when I went for the guillotine, kind of did like a little front flip over his head. I was like, oh, shit. But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, nothing really hurt me, honestly, at all. So I just felt, I felt good, man. I was calm, calculated, and uh, composed. So you go from the hunter to the hunted. How sure. does that feel right now? Uh, it feels great, man. Um, you know, it feels good to be a... Uh, out there and doing what I know I can do. And it's just, uh, every time I'm getting better and better. So I'm excited to see the, the final product of Sergio Perez. Congratulations, Sergio. I mean, like, you, like we said, you, you kept this fight standing, but when he was able to take you down, you got right back up. How important was that in this fight? Oh, uh, super important. You know what, I thought I was gonna be uh, a lot stronger than what he was, to be honest. Uh, maybe I'm just getting into more of a man body, but uh, I just felt like, um, you know, I was ready for it all. I was, I was, I knew, I knew what he was gonna do. I don't, I don't think he knew what I was gonna do, so that was a difference tonight. And, and some special stuff going on uh, with Rufus Sport. Uh, your teammate tonight, Rafion Stotts, won. He said that he wants you to enjoy that title, and he wants to play bodyguard for you in the division and take on, to you take out top contenders. He takes out top contenders. How does that sound? I mean, it sounds great, but at the end of the day, I'm not here to take away anybody's opportunity. I know Rafion's uh, trying to be number one as well, and I'm just a man that's in front of him. He's got a family to feed. He's got another kid coming up in about two or three weeks, so. You know, whatever happens, happens. I love Rafion. He's been a brother to me, a great teammate. So, um, you know, I'm not in control of that, and he's not in control of that. It's just that's what happens in the sport. Right here, Sergio. Um, as the fight progressed, your timing got better. You started landing even more power shots. Were you surprised at all by how many strikes you took without going down? Um, no, Juan's tough, man. I knew he was going to keep on pressing me. I knew he was going to walk through those shots. He's a vet. I mean, he's 25 and 2, uh, 25 and 3 as of tonight now. but. Um, he's been through a lot, man. He hasn't been stopped, so you know I wasn't, I wasn't surprised. I knew a couple of shots rocked him. I saw his, his ankles kind of rolling a little bit, but uh, I just had to stay in my game plan, try to stay composed. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not much of a finisher out there. You know, I have that. I know I have that in me, and I know it's gonna come out eventually. But I feel with more time that I'm gonna get that side of me. So I just, I stay true to myself tonight. Thank you. All right, we'll take a few more questions here, Darren. Thank you for having me, Sergio. Congratulations. Everyone always focuses, uh, focuses on the big lead up to a big fight like this. But what I want to know is what do you do for the week or two after the fight when you have the championship and you can relax a little bit? Um, I'm gonna go home, get to my dogs, Princeton and Kingston, uh, spend some time with my lady Carmen. Um, you know, I've been so busy. Her birthday was like seven days ago. So she allowed me just to focus on the fight, you know, and not worry about getting her a birthday present or even spending time with her that day. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go spend time with the fam. <clears throat> Nice, enjoy. Thank you. Dylan, go ahead. Hey there, Sergio. Big congratulations there, man. Thank you, thank you. I'm just wondering if this one you indicated a strong level of pride about fighting a 
Cinco de Mayo. I'm kind of wondering like how satisfying it is to win a fight whereby you largely showcase like sophisticated boxing. Oh, that was awesome, man. You know, I went out there and trusted my boxing. A big shout out to AMC Boxing in Milwaukee. Um, they helped me out, Ellen um, Rodell. They had uh, some, some younger amateur boxers that put in the pace on me. This kid's only like 16 and other kid's like 20. So um, it's, it's been amazing, man. I do out there and trust my boxing, trust my instincts, especially two days after single day mile. Um, now it's uh, time to go have some fun, get some tacos, and uh, enjoy life a little bit. Sean? Uh, Sergio, congratulations on bringing home the title. You know, do you feel like the real stuff brain will begin when you got a rematch uh, in front of fans? So your fan, and really your friends, your teammates can all uh, participate and, you know, get to see you perform and celebrate after another victory? Oh, sorry, I kind of missed that question a little bit. Oh. I was asking, uh, next time you fight, would you like it to be in front of fans? Is that way you could have a proper celebration? Oh, yeah, family, yeah, man. I would love that. Attend, uh, a rematch? I, I'm sure, I don't know if, I, if it's a rematch, just based off the scorecards of you know what happened, but uh, whoever's up for the challenge next, I would love to fight in front of fans and supporters. And you know, to me, it truly does an honest, and I'm really in, focused on being in there. So with, with or without fans, it's just an honor to be in that uh, cage and doing what I love to do every day. One or two more here, Santiago. Hi, Sergio, congratulations on winning the belt. Thank you. We could hear Duke coaching you during the fight, and he said a couple of times, Sergio, just like in the Benavides fight, what does Duke mean exactly with that, and how important is he for you in your corner? Um, you know, during that fight with Benavides, I was just reading, you know, I was uh, able to react to everything he was throwing at me without getting striked up too much. And uh, he, he actually told me going into this fight, it's just another Joseph Benavides fight, just a little bit bigger. And uh, exactly was that. And Duke's been amazing in my corner uh, for my, my coaching, also in my, my life in general. It's taught me so much from the age of th 13 I've been with uh, Coach Duke. So um, this is my 10th year professional fighting this year. So yeah, man, we're just gonna keep on rolling and keep on going. Last one, Maria. Sergio, congratulations on the title win. Wanted to ask you, you were just talking about the comparisons to the Benavides fight. It was really clear starting in about the third round that you forced Archuleta's movement to change. So instead of the dynamic movement that we're used to seeing, he started coming a lot more straight at you uh, than in the earlier rounds. Is this something that you guys focused on in your training? Um, and was there anyone in particular that you worked with to mimic the way that Archuleta moves? Yeah, I honestly, Mark Chawinski, man. And he, he moved exactly how Archuleta moved in and out. He's a sh stronger wrestler than Juan Archuleta, so it's it a, it a awesome, uh, you know, to have him in my corner, to have him out here coaching me. Um, not only that, man, the mentality that he was giving me, you know, he's, he gave me some books, he gave me some new perspectives to really trust in myself. And the kid's, uh, he's not a kid, the man's two years younger than me, so it's, uh, it's awesome to, to see uh, that level of maturity and to have that around me in my camp. One more, Sam. Hey Sergio, congratulations on winning that belt. Feels like every week this year, people are being forced to wake up to how much elite MMA there is outside of the USC in all different promotions. Here you are, a guy who had success in the UFC and now you're the face of one of Bellator's most exciting divisions. I was wondering, what does that mean to you? Like representing the Bellator banner, being one of the faces of the organization now? and sort of being a showcase of how much great elite MMA there is outside of just the UFC. Uh, it feels great, man. Big thank you to Scott Coker and Bellator for giving me this opportunity. I felt like I was on my way, you know, to becoming a champ of the UFC as well, but uh, I just didn't have the, the time or the, the star power that they want me to have. You know, I'm a pretty normal dude out here, honestly. I just, I love to train, I love to fight. I got two dogs and a lady. I don't do too much outside of that. Not really big into fashion or, uh, shining the way that they want me to shine or you know promoting myself on social media and I'm, I'm really the opposite of that to be honest so um it's awesome that Bellator allows me to be myself and put no pressure on me and I'm able to have these great performances and truly believe in myself and big thank you to everybody behind the scenes at Bellator you guys are amazing putting everything together so well and taking care of all the fighters you guys do uh, a plus job so thank you guys all right thanks for the time Sergio congrats on the win thank you appreciate it